Tensions between China and the U.S. have been rapidly escalating. On Wednesday, the U.S. imposed sanctions on 24 Chinese companies over their activities in the South China Sea. Washington says the companies helped the Chinese military construct artificial islands in the region. The firms will be barred from purchasing U.S. products, and some Chinese officials associated with the companies will face U.S. visa restrictions. But China rejects the allegations. There is no reason for the U.S. to impose illegal sanctions on Chinese companies and individuals because of their involvement in relevant domestic construction. The move shows nothing but the U.S. hegemony and power politics. China will take firm measures to safeguard the legitimate rights and interests of Chinese companies and individuals. Another Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson, Hua Chunying, turned to Twitter, saying Washington's arms extend far to snare foreign companies carrying out normal activities. The South China Sea is a key area of dispute between the two nations. Washington has been stepping up pressure in the region, sending numerous military jets and vessels to monitor Chinese activity. This week, the U.S. said one of its maritime patrol aircraft flew over islands in the South China Sea in mid-August. Beijing warned the plane to stay away. And on Tuesday, Beijing accused Washington of sending a spy plane into a no-fly zone where China has been holding military drills. Commenting on recent relations, U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper says Beijing pursues aggressive military modernization. Uh, Southeast Asia is uh, an important part of the world. We see Southeast Asia, particularly in the South China Sea area, is where China seems to be flexing its muscles the most and uh, conducting some of its worst behavior. China's defense ministry says relations with the U.S. are facing an unusually severe and complicated situation. China's military will not dance to the tune of the United States, nor will it allow Washington to cause trouble. China will take forceful measures to safeguard its national sovereignty, security and interests. The two militaries should maintain communication and keep ties stable. We hope the U.S. side can take concrete actions and create a positive atmosphere for the possible visit of U.S. Secretary of Defense to China later this year. The spokesperson also urges the U.S. to act with reason and stop provocations. Despite the rising tensions, the defense ministry expressed hope that the two sides can maintain communication and create a positive atmosphere for future exchanges. Timothy Ulrich, CGTN.